Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for the 5% series for Game Week 23 where hopefully if you follow these simple instructions you'll finish top 5% globally which means you'll do alright in your mini league. Now this game week's not over yet but because of time constraints I need to record it tonight there are two games yet to finish so we'll start by looking at the scores for Game Week 22 but they are incomplete scores. So for the goalkeepers, the expensive keepers, Pickford 10, Leno 8, the rest did nothing or haven't yet played. The cheaper keepers did nothing. Dubravka nearly got a clean sheet, but then he got injured, stayed on the pitch, letting a goal. I wish he'd come off when he was injured because then I would have got the clean sheet, but uh, what are you going to do? The expensive defenders, Trippier 7, and that's all. A lot of people had Trippier on the bench though, so won't come on unless you also had Walker, in which case he'd probably come on for Walker, who didn't actually play in the end. A stupid man came on at half, came off at half time. Hopefully he's okay and he'd be all right for next game week. The cheaper defenders, Udogi finally scored. That was nice, but that's all. Then for the midfielders, the expensive midfielders, Saka ten, De Bruyne seven, Foden six, and that's all there. Or haven't yet played. The cheaper midfielders, Jota, Madison, Richarlison, all did something, which was nice. The cheapest midfielders did nothing or haven't yet played. Regarding the forwards, the expensive forwards, Jesus 10, Watkins 7 and Kunku got a return. So that was nice. And that's all Haaland back. But most people are reckoning he didn't look great. And yet, no doubt, lots of people will bring him in. I've already brought him in. I sold him for Solanke, who at the time of recording, I understand, has scored at least one goal so far. So that was a minus four for me. And I've lost the point. So that was a very bad move. The cheaper forwards, Adibio 17, but if you had him, he was probably on your bench, to be fair. Alvarez 13, Morris 5, and the rest, nothing. So goalkeepers, for this coming game week, Edison is a good buy. Five good games in the next four game weeks. He is expensive, but if you've got nothing else to do, or maybe you're wildcarding, and I wouldn't recommend wildcarding, but if you had a transfer to burn, thought what should you do, Edison might be worth getting in. Raya, although his Arsenal should be good, but home to Liverpool, I wouldn't be bringing him in this week, but wouldn't be selling him either. Leno, some nice fixtures coming up. Almost borderline green, perhaps, but I've kept him as white. Onana was borderline orange, but United have some nice fixtures. Pickford, he's Pickford. When he's in my team, he does nothing. When he's not in my team, he's pretty good. I think he might be the highest scoring goalkeeper now. So clearly Pickford's... A good keeper to have. Everton defensively have been quite good recently. But they're at home to Tottenham. Then away to Man City. You would kind of expect them to let in goals in both of those games. Flecken. Fixtures aren't great. But in three game weeks time he's got a double game week. But it is Brentford. They do leak goals. So I've not made him green. Even though they've got a double coming up. It's not a great double. It's Liverpool Man City. Johnston. I think he's been on the bench the last two games. Even though he's been fit. So I think he's worth selling. I've not made him a must sell. Definitely don't buy him. Sanchez, this may be the last game week that he's out. If he managed to be first choice again, he's been injured for a while. Not worth buying. You can sell him if you've got him if you want to, but you don't have to. Of the cheaper keepers, Dubravka's got a very nice run of fixtures now. And if you're going to make a keeper move and you can't afford Edison or you want to save the money, then Dubravka's probably the keeper to get. Ariola is also first choice. Turner's playing as well. Any of those are good. And if you've got another keeper that's good, well, they're bench fodder. And if you wanted Dubravka and Ariola, that's fine. And it's a nice cheap combination. For the defenders, the expensive defenders, I've not made Trent Green because he's away to Arsenal. And he didn't start last game week. Presumably he is going to start starting again, but we don't know for sure. And he blanks in four game weeks time. So any Liverpool, are uh, Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham, and Luton, I think it is. They're blanking in four game weeks' time. So we need to not have too many players from those teams. Trippier, coming up to nice fixtures. Goodbye. I think he's worth getting if you can get to him. Porro, nice fixtures in the next three, but then he blanks. Arsenal, home to Liverpool, so I've not made Arsenal white. Walker we introduced last week, and then he didn't even play. So the next few game weeks will be interesting to see is he going to be playing again or not. Maybe he was getting rested for one week. So I've not made him green. I wouldn't be buying him, but equally you don't have to sell him either. A stupid Anike. He came on off at half time, but Brighton do have some nice fixtures and hopefully Deserby was just thinking this is a lost game. 
I'd get him off and save him for the next game against Palace. We can hope, those of us who own a stupid man can hope that's what's happening. Of the cheaper defenders, okay, Gabrielli, Doggy, they're only right. Colwell's injured, I don't know how long for, but he is cheap. So you don't have to get rid of him now, but you may want to sell him soon. I don't know when he's going to be back. I couldn't find out. Konsa, he's cheapish as well. He's away to Sheffield United, so I wouldn't be selling him this week. Pinnock, he was orange over to sell, make him sellable. I've kept him as white because he's got a double in three game weeks time, but it's not a great double against Liverpool Man City. So it's fine to keep him. It's fine to sell him. I wouldn't be buying him. Senesi, bench fodder, nice and cheap, and he's all right. Maguire, if you've got him, let's sell him now. He's not worth having at all. Salah is injured, but we expect him to be back soon-ish. We don't know if he's going to be back for the Burnley game or if it's going to be Brentford. There were expectations that there was going to be a double game week for Liverpool in game week 25, so that would be Brentford and Luton, but that's not been confirmed. So if they do double, then Salah's probably worth getting and lots of people are going to be buying him. But if it's not confirmed, probably far fewer people will buy him. So if you've got him, it's okay to hold on to him if you can still make the rest of your team all right. But if you want to sell him, he is sellable, just about. De Bruyne is a good buy. He is expensive, but has nice fixtures. And he's a very good player. Sun is still sellable. He's still not back, but at least he is fit. But he blanks in game week 26 as well. So he's definitely not worth buying. You could sell him if you wanted to free up a bit of money. You'll get in some other midfielders. Saka, I did have as green. I put him to white simply because he's at home to Liverpool, but he does tick along quite nicely. Odegaard's all right. Fernandez, he's all right. He is Man United. Man United are awful. Fernandez is good. The run of fixtures, West Ham, Villa, Luton, Fulham. That's all right. He could do something. I wouldn't be rushing out to buy him. You don't have to sell him. You could sell him if you want to, though. Bowen's good player, but they're away to Man United. Then they've got Arsenal, so fixtures aren't great. Foden, five nice games in the next four game weeks. He's nice. For the cheaper midfielders, Jago Jota is green. Madison is green. These are both good players, very good players. They're both blanking in four game weeks' time, but I think they're still worth getting if you want to get them now. Just be careful not to have too many players from Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham, Luton. Martinelli's all right, but the fixture that home to Liverpool that maybe isn't great. Sterling should be all right, but he's at home to Wolves, which is nice. Then he's got Palace, which is nice, but then it's Man City away and then no game at all. So I wouldn't be buying Sterling. You could sell him if you wanted to. Richardson's good. Now I know most people are saying they'd get Richardson over Madison. I would, I think I might be more tempted by Madison, but Madison is more expensive. But Richardson and Madison are both very good players, but they're both blanking in four game weeks' time. DRB, too dodgy with minutes and stuff. It's all right to sell him, even though he's away to Sheffield United. I'd rather have a midfielder that I was going to be sure is going to play, like Gordon, who's cheaper. Newcastle have a very nice run of fixtures coming up, so Gordon is definitely worth getting, I think. For the cheaper midfielders, Ward Prowse is sellable, but if you're happy with him just sitting in your team and ticking along, getting points every now and then, that's fine. There are probably... Other midfielders you'd rather have, though. Like Palmer at 5.8. He's still a good buy, even though he blanks in four game weeks' time. Gibbs White, sellable, 5.7. Neto, now to bench fodder now. He Chan is sellable, but he should be back soon, and he's a very good player. Garnacho, very nice bench fodder. 4.8 million for a midfielder who's a good midfielder. He's all right. I mean, he's not as good as Palmer, but if you want a cheap midfielder, Garnacho's the guy you want to get. Regarding the forwards, Haaland I've made green. I know people are being rather negative about him at the moment, and yet he could go to Brentford, do something amazing, and suddenly everyone can be piling into him. Don't break your team to bring in Haaland, but if you can comfortably get Haaland in, it's probably worth getting him in. Watkins is worth keeping hold of, I think. Now, I know some managers this week will, or have already, sold Watkins for Haaland, because Watkins is maybe their most expensive forward at the moment. I don't know if Watkins or Haaland, which ones are going to be scoring the most points in the next few game weeks. I've kept hold of Watkins and I sold Solanke to get in Haaland, which was probably the wrong move. Jesus is eight. He's all right. Darwin's all right. He did very well yesterday, but he didn't really get any points. He got two points. He missed a penalty. 
but he could be very good. But he's away to Arsenal, so I wouldn't be buying Darwin this week. And Kunku's sellable if you happen to still have him. Although he did score, if he ends up being fit, then he is going to be worth having. But in three game weeks times away to Man City, then he blanks. So there are several good forwards at the moment. It may be worth moving and Kunku on, but you don't have to. Solanke is still a good player, even though I sold him for Haaland. He's definitely a player worth having, and I regretted it pretty much straight away. Of the cheaper forwards, okay, we're bringing in Tony now as a new player. I was resisting bringing him in, but the double game week is very good. He's got returns in both his games back. He's quite expensive at 8 million, but he's probably going to tick along nicely, and he may be a bit like Watkins has been, for example, where he keeps getting 5, 6, 7, 8 points week after week with the odd two here and there and he doubles in three game weeks time so lots of teams will buy him so he's eight million now but i'd expect his price to go up a fair bit in the next couple of game weeks alvarez is still good but with harland de bruyne back we don't know what his minutes are going to be like but at the moment he is very good and he's got a double coming up lots of managers were expecting to dump alvarez to bring in harland some have already done that but after last night's game i believe some are now thinking they'd rather have alvarez so it's a tough call. We don't know what's going to go on. Going back two or three weeks, there's a lot of negativity about Alvarez because he hadn't done much recently. So it's very, very much recency bias, I think, of Alvarez. Gio Pedro went off injured. Hopefully it's a minor injury, though. Morris bench fodder. So Morpé, he's actually been all right recently. I've got him here because he's 4.9, very nice bench fodder. And he does have a double game week in three game weeks time. So if you want a cheap forward, I would buy more pay at the moment before Gio Pedro or Morris or Adibayo or Archer. So uh, so you don't break your team to ring in more pay. I'm saying he's a very good piece of bench fodder and then you get to play him in three game weeks time. So the goalkeeper, this is my suggested bench order for the keepers that are in this system for this coming game week. Flecken is playing Man City, so I wouldn't play him. Johnston's probably going to be on the bench. If not, away to Brighton. It's a bit like a derby. I wouldn't play him. And then Turner away to Bournemouth. Ariola's away to Man United. Raya at home, but to Liverpool, so probably not a clean sheet. Pickford at home to Tottenham. I think there's more chance of a clean sheet there than with Raya. I've got Onana here. Home to West Ham. Could be all right. None of these, I think, have got a very good chance of a clean sheet so far. Leno away to Burnley. Could be a clean sheet, but it's away. Don't fancy away games much. Now, Sanchez, almost certainly going to be out injured, but just in case he's not, you might want to play him. They're not expecting him to be back yet, but he's home to Wolves. And then Edison away to Brentford and Dubravka at home to Luton. So the first keeper I showed you that you've got actually just goes on your bench. The other one is the one that you play. So for the rest of your team, the idea is if we get the three players on the bench right, then, of course, the other 10 outfield players choose themselves. This is my suggested bench order. You do whatever you like. This is just to maybe help you or give you a bit of a guide if you're unsure. So the first player you see that I show you, position three on your bench, next one position two, last one position one. If I don't show a player like De Bruyne, Haaland, Saka, it's because you're playing them. I'm also not showing Salah or Sun because they're not playing. So Archer, Pinnock. Morris, Adibayo, Neto, Gibbs White, Ward Prowse, Senesi, Consa, Morpe, Walker, Garnacho, White, Saliba, Gabriel. And if you've got two defenders from Arsenal, feel free to push one of them a bit further down the list. Udogi, Porro, Diego Jota, Darwin, Bowen, Martinelli, Jao Pedro, Odegaard, Sterling, and Kunku, Jesus, Estupanan, Madison, and Richarlison. This isn't necessarily ordered according to how good I think the players are. It's to do with how good I think the players are potentially going to do this week and allowing for how many other managers own them and how much it hurt if you have them benched. Regarding captaincy, and again, we're just looking at options here. This is suggestions. But I think De Bruyne is a pretty good captaincy shout this week playing Brentford. Haaland... Probably not as good as De Bruyne, probably won't get as many points as De Bruyne, but I think probably a lot of people will be captaining him. And if he happens to have a really good game week, which he could, and he's captained, you're going to miss out there. 
Watkins is a good shout for captaincy away to Sheffield United. Palmer's a good shout. Gordon's a good shout. Solanke's. I think all of these are good captaincy choices. It's feasible they'll all get two points. It's feasible they're all going to get nine, ten points or more. So I would suggest if you can, one of these captain, one advice captain. I wouldn't do De Bruyne and Haaland though. But if you don't fancy these or you can't get two out of this slot, choose one of the green attacking players that we saw on the previous page. And regarding the background picture, I couldn't think what to do. So uh, my dad was a dairy farmer when I was growing up and used to have some Frisian cattle. I never saw them playing football, but I wasn't on the farm all the time. Perhaps when no one was looking, they did have a kickabout. Who knows? So there we have it. My suggestions for game week 23 based on the 5% system. And let's hope that we all have a better game week, especially me. Thanks for watching. Bye.